All right, guys. Guess me. All right, let's start. Roll up. All right, this is the capacitor tester. It's only designed to test the capacitor. Okay? Specific for this one only. A good thing for this one is whatever you found out in here. This is 35 uh, microfarad and then 5 microfarad for fan. For, for herm, we have 35. For fan, we have 5. We are going to confirm if this one is okay. Okay, we are going to connect this common to common. Okay, the black to common. And there's the positive. We're gonna connect first to uh, her. Okay, that's magnetized. When I press hold, we're supposed to have 35. I'm holding right now. We have 35, 36. Okay? Next, we're gonna check if the fan is okay, you're gonna put it to brown terminal. That's for the fan. So we're looking for five microfarad, right? Press hold. You see the five. Are we clear? Now, to double check, also using this clamp tester, you put it to MFD, the milliparad, okay? Double check. Come on, you put it to the yellow terminal. I mean, come on, terminal. And then this one, you put it to her, you're supposed to have 35. You see that? It's 35. Now, when I put this one, the red terminal to fan, you have five. Okay? Now, if there's a problem with this one, a short circuit or somewhere. If you touch this one to the ground right here, you're not supposed to have reading, okay? But you're gonna put it to continuity or what we call, okay, ohms. You put it ohms, you can make a sounds if you like. You hear the sounds? If this one is connected right here, right? You will hear the sound, right? This one need to separate to this body. So by checking this to this, making sure there's no continuity. From right here, no, no. Okay? So the same thing with this one. You check this. No sounds, no continuity. The same thing with this. The same thing with this. Okay? So that's how you check if the capacitor and you will see it also visually, right? You see this? This is the dual capacitor. You see that, that, that the front is curved, like oval. It needs to be flat, like this. You see this one? Flat? Yeah. So this part over here is the weak part of this uh, capacitor. That's why when it overheated, it expands the top. That's why you will see it from this wall if this one is up, meaning this is broken already. Okay? And this one over here, you see is flat. You need to find out what's the problem. Because this one can be broken also with, with the flat. But inside, how much your church? So church it. That's why you need to check this. How much is the range? Plus or minus 5%. Or what we call, uh, you could use, it depends. Like for example, this one over here. Plus or minus point, right here. Plus or minus 0.6 percent. All right, you know the formula already, right? The 0.6 percent of 55. You check that range. So how are you gonna compute that? Very simple. 55 minus 0.06 percent. You will see the range. It's going down more, meaning it's broken. If it's very low, you need to replace it. If this one is, you have a very low microfarad, it gives your compressor to work more. That's why it broke. Maybe you're gonna wait for a couple of months and then. All right? So that's how you check. So 
You have any more question? No more questions? You guys gonna do it one by one. Go. 35. Okay, what you looking for? Right now, I'm, I'm with the compressor. Common to what? Common to Erm. To yeah. Herm? Yeah, the compressor. What is the reading? It's 35. What is required? 35. 35? Now I'm going to fan. Okay, go to the pan. Five, exactly. Required. Okay, how five. much is my pan? Five. Okay, five. All right, good. So try this uh, uh, capacitor tester. Okay. 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 Try that. Okay. What do you have? Press hold. Thirty-six. Thirty-five. Yeah, thirty-six. Oh, 35, okay. 36. <laughs> Next, transfer to pan. Press hold. Five. Five. So it passed. Good. Alright, you know how to check now, right? 